This is another one of my hobby horses. I think that we see a zillion times we read that, oh, sunflower's full of oils and fats and it's horrible, horrible stuff. Um, and, and this is where I get a bit upset, to be honest, with the whole nutrition industry. I don't mean just the bird nutrition or animal nutrition and human nutrition. We've all been told that fat is the enemy. So is it? Well, the first thing is that fats are not the enemy. Um, and we are only just beginning to be told that by the human nutritionists even. Um, there is no hormone in our bodies, and I'm talking us as well as birds now, there is no hormone in our bodies that tells us to take the fat that we eat, or the oils that we eat, and store it away as fat. We all know the hormone that does turn starch into fat, because we've all heard of insulin. So you are actually going to get much fatter and your birds will get much fatter if you feed them sugars and starches which get stored away as fats very, very efficiently. So if you want to put weight on, or if you want your bird to put weight on, or if you want your dog or cat to put weight on, feed them sugars and starches and insufficient protein. Because this insulin is what converts those sugars and starches into fats. Now, fats do get stored, you know, that, but it's a much slower process and it's a much less damaging process. And you'll find nowadays loads of people on uh, low-carb diets or uh, virtually zero-carb diets because they're cutting out the sugars and starches. So this is a way of looking at, at sunflower, if you like. Um, so this is my millet example that we went through, 10 grams of, of protein and, and roughly, and we've balanced it with these amino acids and it's now a nice diet for, for the bird, except because millet is full of starch. Millet is a typical cereal grain, full of starch. And everybody would tell you that if, if you were feeding 100 grams of millet, the bird will eat 100 grams of sunflower seed and there's tons of protein in sunflower seed, so they're not going to get protein deficient and there's tons of energy and everybody will tell you your bird will get fat. Um, what will actually happen? Actually, the bird will probably only eat 40 grams of sunflower seed. Because there's so much more energy and protein in, uh, in, in sunflower seed than there is in millet, in a, an oily food versus a starchy food, the bird may only eat 40 grams, and if it only eats 40 grams, it's getting its 10 grams of protein, so it's not going to be protein deficient. Actually, it's going to be energy deficient. It's not going to have enough energy. Now, birds aren't stupid. If they haven't got enough energy, they're like us. They get hungry, so they eat. So this scenario, whilst it may be theoretically uh, a problem, isn't a problem, because the reality is he won't eat 40 grams of sunflower seed, it'll eat 60 grams of sunflower seed. It will eat until its energy requirement is met. And at, the, at that point, if it was just being fed sunflower seed purely, it would have more protein than it needs. Not a major issue, again, unless there are, unless there are issues with livers and, and kidneys. So, clearly you don't feed your birds a diet 100% millet or 100% sunflower seed. I've just picked those as examples of, of the extremes, if you like. The reality is sunflower uh, is a very good food for parrots. We, there, it gets more complicated and I haven't got time to go into omega-3s and omega-6s and all the sorts of different oils, but nevertheless, don't have come down badly on sunflower seed. And then here is the, the issue. I've sort of, if, if, we, if we look at those charts and we go, all oh, percentages and calories and goodness knows what else, it all seems very complicated and very scientific. And by the way, my biggest hobby horse is that we are not in a science-based industry. We're in a, we're in a technology industry. We run field trials. We don't do proper scientific experiments. The number of scientific experiments carried out on pet parrot species is tiny. Tiny, absolutely tiny. So the question is, do we have to get all those percentages and things right? And the answer is, no, we don't, because the birds are not stupid. So long as we feed them a choice 
So here I've just got a typical sort of parity mix, which is relatively low in protein. We've got here, this is an egg food, and our feast egg food, but you might have fruits and vegetables and things like that. You start adding your supplements to this, you're boosting the usable quality or the quality of the protein. And what the birds will do very simply is they will select how much of this and how much of that they need. They will get the whole protein and energy balance absolutely right without you worrying about it. All you have to do is offer something with a lowish protein and something with a highish protein and they will make the selection. And in that sense, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm a supplements person and I'm fairly passionately um, not a great fan of pellets. The problem with, one of the problems with pellets is that the pellet manufacturers will tell you that they've got a scientifically formulated <laughs> formulation, but it's interesting how some of them have got 15% protein and some of them have got 22% protein and the science doesn't actually come to the same answers. A lot of the science is still based on poultry nutrition, which is a bit sad. Um, so again, our philosophy, give them a choice and hey presto, you won't have a problem. <laughs>